Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 view and today we're doing another episode of some new modded solar system objects so it's been absolutely ages since we did the last one of these I think the last one was Callisto over a month ago I mean yeah it's been quite a while since um, anyone has made some new um, custom solar system objects I mean it was Neptune or Callisto I think was the last one um, we did for this but yeah today we have got two new ones to show off um, in this video guys so yeah we'll just get straight into it and also a massive thank you to everyone who's recently subscribed as always but yeah we'll get straight into it and first of all we'll be heading to Jupiter so here it is here so here's the current version of Jupiter we've got and it was never finished that was the thing. This was old Casper's one. He's just vanished out of nowhere now. I don't know where he went. But um, yeah, here's his old Jupiter. Um, but yeah, this one has now got a replacement. So if we, I just go ahead and search Jupiter here. I've got this amazing new one to show you. So yeah, it's made by Mad Planet Guy. He sent this to me the other day. And he has built a new custom Jupiter. So if I just go and place it here. Here we go. Check this guy out. So what do you guys think of this? He's used the colours a lot more um, with this one. He's done, like tried it... Um, very very well or he's done a very good job actually of getting the colors and all the bands and all that correct i think this looks really good and then we'll compare it to the original jupiter as well right here so there we go so yeah with the original jupiter there's um some colors missing i'd say with the bands and this one actually has more bands as well which is quite cool i'm not sure if the red spots on it at the moment i may have to just save it as jupiter i mean the red spot is there okay so it's, that's good um but yeah there it is so yeah guys let us know what you think of this down below because i think this is a good looking jupiter i have to say you guys also let us know what you think down below in the description if there's any improvements or anything like that let him um, let him know in the comments because yeah that's the only way to um get some um feedback on this so um or, or it's a way to get more feedback, sorry, because I've already given them some of my own uh, feedback for this as well. But yeah, I think this is a really, really good job. I think maybe a few more, bit, maybe a bit more cream colour into it instead of maybe the white. And then it'll look a little better. But you guys um, let us know what improvements um, could be done to this tube. Because I'm, I'm liking the way it's looking, I have to say. I, th I think it does look really, really good. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and implement that into the custom solar system now. So, yeah, we're going to replace the old tube. It's been there for quite a while. It's served... Um, Served quite well, actually. It has definitely been here for a while. Yeah, I don't know where um, Casper went. He just vanished one day. Never said anything. So he, sh he just disappeared. And he never ended up finishing this guy in the end. So, yeah, Man Panic Guy's now come along. And he's taken the crown for the probably the best custom Jupiter at the moment. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and add that new guy in. So if I just go ahead and grab it. Right, and then we'll go ahead and pull it in orbit. So we'll just have to pull it here. And then we'll have to enter the um, options manually. Right, here we go. So we want to have this as 12.6 years. Uh, Semi-major axis was... Um, was it already... Oh, it's already 5.42. Okay. Um, then this one needs to be 5.41. Alrightio. So let's go ahead and implement those. Like so. Um, Apo center. That needs to be 5.41 again. So we'll have to... Um, no, don't change that. 5.41. No, not 5,041. We want 5.41. There we go. And now they're all 5.41. That's quite annoying. Um, that one needs to be 4.2. Sorry. I know these ones. God, I'm reading everything wrong now. No. That needs to be 5.2. And then this one needs to be 5.2. That's what we want. Oh, and now it's changed it all again. Ah, oh, this is annoying. It's never done this before. That is very um, weird. I'll let, let it pass for now. Um, so we'll do the other ones first. So, okay. So this needs to, yeah, this needs to be 1.1. That drag option is not useful here. Uh, angle, we want that as 276. Then 114 um, for longitude, so 132. Uh, anomaly, that doesn't matter for now. 276, 1.0. Okay. okay, so that is now in the correct orbit by the looks of it. 12.6 years, 5.42 on this option. Let's see if that works now. So that's annoying. Why is it put up to 5? It never did that before. That's really weird. 5.4. Four, two. That's what it should be. So they keep changing each other. That's that's quite mysterious. Why are they gotta do that? If I put this to one, five point four one, maybe it's that option he's doing. It's now they're all five point four one. That's really really annoying. Five point four three. Oh, that's. Oh, now I clicked the wrong button. That's really annoying being there. All right, five point four two. Can you just add the number in? 5.42, 5.425, there you go. That's what we want. Right, perfect. All the other stats, okay, so we need to do the eccentric stuff. So 0, 0.000, and then 845, like that. And yeah, we go. That is now on the same orbit as the um, 
previous Jupiter. Okay, so that's looking good. And then the Lomini was minus 159, so we'll put it about there. So if we now zoom in, they are now on the same orbit, pretty much. So there we go. And you can see the other Jupiter over there. So their orbits are now all lined up, which is looking good. So yeah, we'll go ahead and delete the old Jupiter now, since it's no longer required. We've got a new upgraded one. I do think as well, I think he mentioned this to me too, that the North Pole does need some working on with the colours. Um, I believe he said. I think that does need a bit of a change. It does look a little funny at the top. Then the south look. It's the south is looking good, but yeah, I definitely think it needs more of this creamy colour up in the um, equator area instead of the white bands. I think the white areas need to be a little less, and I think we do need more of that cream colour in the middle areas here. I have to say, but yeah, on other than that, I think this is looking really good, and obviously the North Pole bit as well. But yeah, there we go. So that is the new Jupiter adding in. It's, I've got to say, it does look really, really good. Let's get a line up, see how it looks with all the other planets here, and there we go. That's looking good. I'm liking that with the custom, other custom variants too. We still don't have a Saturn of any kind. No one has made any Saturn which is worthy, I guess, um, just yet for this. So, um, But Saturn doesn't really need many. The only um, requirement I'd have for a custom Saturn is it just needs to have a little more bands than this one. I mean, the colours are already spot on for that, so that doesn't really need to change. But anyways, going on to our second custom variant of the day, we're going to be heading to Mars. It's about time we um, the dust storm ended, I think. So yeah, here it is here. And yeah, as you as you know, it's literally just a dust storm Mars. Very, very thick atmosphere um, with that red there. But now, there is a new Mars, too. So we're going to go ahead and um, open this. So yeah, Anonymous sent this in. So all credit for that goes to him. He sent me this one. But I believe Man Planet Guy um, did one as well. But this one is specifically from Anonymous. So whereabouts is it here? It's called New Mars. I believe it was this one. So we're going to go ahead and place this in. So I'll put it out here just so we can view it. So here it is. And basically... It's the, just the normal old Mars, but the atmosphere looks a lot more realistic than the one in Universe Sandbox. Because the one in Sandbox, it looks a little too pinkish red, in a way. But this one is a lot more... It, re, it definitely shows the colour. Like, that That does... If you look at that, it does look a little too red. But this... This one here on the left, this one, that, that atmosphere colour, I think, looks a lot more realistic, I have to say. Is it just me? I mean, let us know down below. But... Yeah, I think that new Mars is looking pretty cool, I have to say. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and implement its um, correct coordinates and all that. So, yeah, we'll go to motion, and I'll quickly um, get all those noted down. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead to the new Mars here. Yeah, it's about it's about time the dust storm one. Um, we end, got rid of that, I'd say. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and enter those um, new values in um, right now. So, yeah, there's the old one. And the new ones so we need to go ahead and add those in but yeah i gotta say the custom solar system is really really cool now and since um that old jupiter's gone i think i would be allowed to give this out now if anyone wanted it because that jupiter i wasn't allowed to distribute that so every time people asked can i have this i had to say no because I, I didn't have permission to give that jupiter out but now it's mad planet guys one i believe he doesn't mind if people use it or um have it have a copy of it i believe that this custom solar system I think I'd be allowed to, um, yeah, because I think all the creators in here, they, they send, they've sent all their stuff out in public chats before, um, with the objects and stuff like that. I think the only one, the only one no one else has is the custom Neptune. I'd have to ask Mr. Mislot if it's all right to give that out, but I think with that old Jupiter gone, I think I'd be allowed to, um, give this out for any of you guys who wanted a copy of it. Um, yeah, I'll have to, con if anyone does want it, I'll have to contact everyone who, um, has made an object for this, just to, just to check. But, yeah, I think with that old Jupiter out of the way, I think I'd be allowed to um, actually give this out if anyone um, wanted it. So if you want it, just message me on Discord and we can arrange that. Link to Discord will be in the description um, to my server if you want to join that. But, yeah, if you want this system for yourselves, it's um, it's here waiting for you if you um, if you want it. And, yeah, it should be all right um, to give it out. So, um, yeah, that's um, good. All right, anyways, I'm still entering these in. So, yeah, 285. Uh, longitude needs to be 49.5. There we go. Okay, so the orbit's um, getting closer to the dust storm Mars now. The years need to be 1.88. Okay, there we go. And it's pretty much really on the same left now. So 1.52, 1.38, and then 1.67. Right, and then all of the other options are matching. All right, cool. That was a lot easier than Jupiter one there. So there we go. New Mars, literally dead on with the orbit there. So we can go ahead and say goodbye to the dust storm Mars. Still a cool object. But it's just um, the dust storm's ended now. So, yeah, we're going to go and have a regular Mars with a nice proper red, or proper, not red, but proper creamy, sandy, Mars red looking atmosphere, I guess, there. So that is looking very, very fine now. So, yeah, if we go ahead and get a line up of all the objects, I uh, will um, go ahead and throw a save in now as well. So I don't want to have to enter those values in. So we've got the whole list there. I actually have to replace that thumbnail now since we've got that new Jupiter. So, yeah, if we get a line up of all these guys, here we are. There we go. So... 
yeah, looking really, really cool now. I mean, the new Jupiter, I, that Jupiter is, I like it. I have to say, it really does look cool. The red, the red bands, I mean, from this angle as well, that is looking very fine, I have to say. So, yeah, guys, let us know what you think of the new um, Jupiter and Mars down below. Obviously, if there's any um, any um, criticism you have or any um, ideas you could have to make improve it, let us know. Um, so I'm pretty sure Mad Planet guy who made this would be interested to hear any feedback you may have. But, yeah, look how cool the red spot looks with that. that is, damn, that is looking good. Red spot, yeah. Wow. God, that is, I have to say, that is looking really good. It's just the North Pole, that definitely needs some working on, I have to say. Um, but other than that, it's looking great. So, um, yeah, there's Jupiter. Obviously, we've got Saturn there. The, the only, pretty much the only planet that's not been modified. We've got Uranus, uh, Neptune, obviously Planet 9. Earth hasn't had any changes, but I have seen some custom Earths pop up. So maybe we could do an Earth competition and the winner could be put in the system, maybe. Venus, honestly, I need to update. And I need to add the new, um, the shiny one that won the competition. And I need to add that in at some point. Obviously, we've got the new Mars. We've got the Mercury with the grey atmosphere. We've got the Pluto with the white atmosphere. We've got the super shiny Eris. And then we've got um, the red Sedna. I've had this object for so long now. Um, I've got a custom Orcus here. I designed that one. Um, a brownish colour, not really anything much there. We've got the Goblin, which I made all the way back when that thing was discovered. There, from the concept art. And then we have the Far Out object over here. I hope they discover more of these like little objects out, because they're quite fun to make, actually. Um, but yeah, that is all of those. Yeah, we've got a really cool um, list of custom objects in that Neptune, though. It's just looking very fine, as usual. Um, but yeah, there, guys. Let us know what you think down below in the comments. Because, um... Cause, um I just completely goofed up the video. Let us know what you think of these objects down below. And also, if there's any feedback you have, let us know. So that's, I'm really interested to hear what you guys' opinions on this are as well. I'm, like I said, I'm pretty sure the creator of um, these two objects. So, yeah, that'd be Mad Planet Guy and Anomalous. Obviously, a special thanks to them for sending me um, these objects as well. Because I think they're really, really cool. And, yeah, got to say, well done to those guys. Because that, that, especially that new Jupiter, that's looking really cool. And obviously, the Mars, really liking. I can't believe if no one's ever thought to do this before. I'm surprised people are only picking it up on it now. But, yeah, I'm surprised no one did that from the start of modern, honestly, is give Mars it's a more realistic-looking realistic atmosphere colour there. But, yeah, it's only taken us a year after modern was discovered, I guess, to do it. But, yeah, a bit late than never, right? So, um... Yeah, that is everything, guys. So make sure you guys leave a like on this video for these new objects. And also subscribe if you're new. Helps on the journey to 8,000 subscribers. And also, like I said, any feedback, let us know in the comments. But, yeah, that's about everything, guys. So I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.